Certainly people living with HIV face a lot of issues. First and foremost are medical, and fortunately the medical issues remain complicated but are very manageable. HIV is a chronic disease, just like high blood pressure is. If people manage it properly, they'll live into their 80s or 90s. Our clinic is located in the West Complex, and we are really pleased to have a very accessible clinic that has adjacent parking and an entrance directly onto Hospital Drive. The principles of this clinic are to be welcoming from the moment that someone arrives. The receptionists that we have are tremendous and are very attuned to the kinds of experiences that people may be having. And one of the most important aspects of their welcome is that it is very confidential. They usually try to make everybody feel at home, so I usually tell them that it's nice to meet you. I know you for who you are from this moment forward. Whatever happened in the past doesn't matter. And that I want to get to be like your family away from home because we'll get to see each other every three to six months, so I want to know you personally besides you being just another number to us. I get the patients ready to see the doctor, so I take them back to a full set of vital signs on them, blood pressure, pulse, respirations, and temperature, and go over their medication and allergies with them and ask them a couple other questions to get them ready for the doctor. It really is very much a one-stop shop, and so we have people with a lot of different expertises that actually come together because the mission is important for everyone that works here, whether it's a staff, whether it's a faculty, whether it's a patient. All people that come through this clinic, no matter what side of the exam table you're on, feel invested in making this an experience that actually changes lives. You know, we will meet you where you are. So however, whatever makes you comfortable, however it makes you comfortable to come to clinic. Um, I've gone to outside and met people so that they know a familiar face and to explain what the clinic is and we, We'll do anything to get a person in and comfortable in care. We typically will have several different clinicians, meaning maybe a nurse, a doctor, and a psychologist who will all see a patient on a particular day's visit. And so the patient will get a lot of chances to talk to different people who are specialists in different areas that concern them. And my experience in the clinic is that everyone is really committed to helping that person live their best life. We have a great team in this clinic and around the state of Virginia uh, that makes sure that no one is denied uh, care for HIV. So from a medical perspective, we're really pleased that as a team we're able to provide people with the care they need. And it's not second class or third tier care. This is top of the line medications and treatment that people need to be able to live well with HIV. Because of the generosity of the federal programs and state programs, Virtually everyone gets that care in an affordable way. So I wouldn't want anyone to feel they have to stay away. I think it's really the best of both worlds because we have, as you say, in the clinic, it, it really does feel like a family. The, the, the providers and the, the staff and the, the patients together, just, you know, I feel like we all are a group of people who are working toward a, a common goal. And it's a, you know, it's a very select group. It's people who are infected with a certain disease or people who are, who are interested in managing those people. The success of any medical treatment is based on the person's, the individual's participation in that treatment. And so we really encourage people to buy in, to own their treatment and to be an active participant in that and to feel as if they have a seat at the table, an equal seat, and we want them to participate actively. Human suffering isn't always medical. It's social, it's psychological, it's cognitive. And by really addressing all of the elements of the illness process, I think the quality of life that people can expect is much higher. And so not only are people surviving the disease, the illness, they're actually thriving despite having HIV. And I think what's really fascinating is that it really becomes part of the background noise of one's life instead of a primary identifying factor in how people look at themselves. It's, it's just an element, it's not a defining force. It's exciting to see people come to the clinic who are sick or who are fearful and to see over a period of sometimes months or even just a few years, see them restored to health, returning to work, um, looking healthy, feeling healthy, and, and in some ways forgetting about the HIV and moving on with their lives.